Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video, I'm going to share my interview experience with Infosys. So basically, I have uh, 10 years of experience in information technology and I work on infrastructure, cloud and security and all these things. So the position that I applied for is actually the technical analyst or the technology analyst for the call and the interview was over the phone and it, it went for approximately um, you know uh, one hour and they asked me a lot of questions uh, related to my current work profile um, what I do in the current job what is my skill set how I can uh, bring efficiency to um, to, the, to the work all these type of questions um, but what I observed is uh, the interview difficulty phase is not that difficult to crack the interview. It's It's been, um, you know, it's very easy to crack this interview uh, with Infosys. So I will share a couple of questions that um, I remember of uh, during the interview process. Uh, you know, the first question they asked me is about, uh, you know, uh, what are the different types of uh, servers that I worked on? So the first, um, what are the So this was the first question they asked me, what are the different type of service that uh, you worked on? So I, I told them, um, like, you know, um, I, I told them about the Dell. Um, so I, I thought this question is completely related to uh, the hardware perspective because the position is uh, completely into infrastructure. So I told them about um, my experience with Dell and HP Rack and Blade service and then I, I, I also told them about the Cisco UCS uh, service that I worked on. So um, when I told about these three uh, server series that I worked on, they asked me a couple of questions um, related to Cisco UCS uh, Dell, like uh, he asked me about the Dell, um, uh, what is uh, the DRAC, and on the HP side, he asked me about um, you know ILO, and in the Cisco, they asked me about um, you know how to create a VLAN, how to create the templates to deploy different servers, and all all these things. So this was the first question, and um, like I, I was satisfied answering this question with uh, them. So the second question they asked me is about, um, you know, the different flavors. Um, uh, sorry about this. Mm -hmm. uh, they asked me about the different flavors of uh, Linux that I have uh, experience on. So I told them about uh, my Debian experience, my um, little bit of uh, uh, Red Hat and uh, the CentOS uh, experience that I have. And um, once I completed answering my uh, first uh, part of the question, they asked me uh, a lot of details about, um, about uh, these uh, flavors. Like what is um, the package manager? in um, Linux so the, the answer is RPM and they also asked me about the latest version of um, Ubuntu uh, which is 16.4 and they also asked me about what is LTS so I, I told them about the LTS and um, they, they asked me a lot of details like uh, you know IP tables um, they, they asked me about uh, Samba and uh, so a lot of questions on uh, the Linux part. So I answered all these questions and next they asked me is um, my experience on uh, security. So uh, he just asked me like uh, how many years of experience you have on security and what are the endpoint uh, tools that you worked on. So uh, what
so this was the question I told them about uh, the SCP uh, the McAfee McAfee and um, Norton and Kaspersky so I, I think the current client um, of Infosys, uh, one of the clients they are recruiting me for, I think uh, it is using uh, SCP and also they have uh, some production environment on um, Trend Micro. So their focus was uh, only to get me the information on uh, semantic and point uh, protection and the Trend uh, Micro. So uh, what they did was, uh, you know, uh, they tried to check my skill set, uh, whatever I mentioned in in my resume about my experience with uh, the infrastructure, uh, security, the data center design. Um, I, I just remember actually they asked me about uh, details about my data center design experience. So, um, like uh, most of the questions uh, in this part, like the data center design experience were focused on uh, you know the rack servers um, uh, the UPS systems the cooling and um, how you monitor all these things uh, what is uh, DC IM um, solutions you worked on so it was pretty strong uh, I mean um, the interview went on and it, it was pretty strong um, in collecting all this information and analyzing my work experience so um, once this is done um, they gave me some scenarios to solve like uh, they gave me an uh, they gave me a scenario of a production environment with more than 15 to 20 servers that are running very critical application that the client is hosting and they, they asked me to um, implement a real-time uh, monitoring solution and I after listening to the scenario I actually gave them um, uh, Nagios so scenario was so basically here is a, a mistake that I have actually done when they said this is a critical application server I should have um, thought about different other things like alert logic uh, I think that can do a pretty good um, um, application level monitoring and also uh, on app uh, dynamics I think the current client uh, Infosys has I think is using app dynamics to to see the latency between the HTTP web servers and um, you know to, to towards the database and also to the application so it, it calculates the latencies uh, how the request is going everything so that is what they look for but I answered it in a different way with uh, with Nagios which is basically uh, Nagios and Zabex uh, Xenos all these are infrastructure monitoring solutions uh, they are not application level monitoring solutions that uh, that is one I actually missed on so that was uh, the discussion and uh, this the, there were other scenarios they gave um, like uh, you know um, a user um, is trying to log into a particular um, RDP into a server and uh, he's not able to access uh, he is not able to log into a server how do you troubleshoot um, so these type of questions like mainly into active directory uh, and they asked me uh, some questions related to cloud I have a lot of experience in cloud so they even though the requirement um, they interviewed me for is not into cloud they asked me a lot of questions on cloud so technology analyst with Infosys interviews are basically they check um, you know time to time your experience and your awareness into the industry and into the technologies um, and uh, your ability to implement new technologies and bring efficiency to the client operations that that is their main goal in um, for technology analyst role so um, interview process was 
you know it's not that difficult when you compare to any product based companies mm, but i would say it's better you prepare and go for the interview and i hope this gives you some information about um, how the infosys interviews are conducted and i hope you learned something from this video and it is helpful for you thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned for more videos have a wonderful day bye bye